All right, in this video, let's build a simple responsive navbar. A navbar is a common pattern for navigation where we have a list of items displayed as a horizontal bar. As simple as it may sound, there was a lot of struggle to get this done. So let's see how to build a navbar with Flexbox. So I have an HTML and CSS file. The body of the HTML is empty and so is the CSS. First, let's write the markup. I'm gonna start off with a nav tag and within the nav tag, an unordered list. Now, this unordered list is going to contain four list items. Home, about, services, and contact. And that's pretty much our HTML. Let's add some styling in the CSS file. So let me quickly copy paste the style and then go through each of them individually. All right, so we have the nav tag, which has a font size of two rems and a background color of F1, F1, F1. The unordered list has a list style type of none, margin zero, padding zero. Each of the list item has a cursor pointer and then padding of 0.5 rems. And then on hovering of the list item, we just change the font color and the background color. Now, if you save these files and take a look at the browser, you can see that our HTML shows up, but definitely not how we want it to be. They are vertically stacked up instead of being placed side by side. Now to convert this into a navbar, we simply make the unordered list tag as a flex container. So on this particular style, the UL under nav, we're going to add display flex. Now, if you take a look at the browser, you can see that the items are placed next to each other. Perfect. But we end up with some additional space. And we can deal with this extra space in two ways. We either add the space around the items or we add the space as part of the item itself. Kind of like padding to the text. Let's take a look at the first case. Now to distribute the space around the items, we use the justify content property. So to the unordered list, specify justify content, and this is going to be space around. If I refresh, you can see that it looks like a navbar much more so now than before. When I hover on the menus, you can see that it highlights only around the text content. Now this might be what you want, but if you want the spacing to be part of the menu item itself, you can use the flex property on the individual items. So on each list item, we can set flex to auto. And then we are also going to align the text to the center. And finally, comment justify content property. Now, if you go back to the browser and refresh it, there you go. The space is distributed within the item. Finally, let's make it responsive by adding a media query. Let me quickly paste the media query. And you can see that all we do in the media query is change the flex direction from row to column on the unordered list. By doing so, the menu items flow from top to bottom. And we have set the max width to 400 pixels. So when we reduce the browser size to less than 400 pixels, these properties are going to be applied. Let's take a look. I'm gonna go back to the browser, refresh it. Now, as I slowly start reducing the browser size and go below 400 pixels, you can see that the menu items stack on top of each other and the navbar is responsive. Pretty simple, right? So just to recollect, on the flex container, which is the UL tag, we set display to flex and justify content to space around. 
If you want the space to be distributed within the items, we set flex to auto on each of the list items. Want a responsive navbar? Add a media query and set flex direction to column. Simple, right? Let's take a look at the next use case. 